Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to configure simple queues. So queues are used to limit and prioritize traffic. It can be used to limit data rate to certain IP addresses and subnets and also it can be used to limit peer-to-peer -peer traffic and also prioritize traffic for others. So first thing you need to do is click on queues and we're going to add a queue. We're going to call this queue all bandwidth. And the target would be all the users on this network. So this queue that I'm setting up would be the parent queue. So this will be the queue for all in, for the entire network. And I'm going to show you how to utilize this um, further on in this tutorial. So we're going to set a maximum upload for this queue. So this would be um, your upload, your maximum upload speed. But for best, but according to best practice, you should set the maximum um, for your queue to be 80% of that limit. So I'm going to work with 256 just for this um, tutorial. But remember to set it to 80% of your maximum. And the reason being is that if you go over that in terms of utilization, it will, um, will affect your download speed eventually. So you want to keep that you know below below 80 percent and the download now this will be your maximum download speed that you want to assign to this queue for downloads you don't you don't have that restriction usually you go for your maximum um, available bandwidth so we're going to set this to 10. Uh, for burst time threshold and all of these burst features we're not going to um, be doing those in this tutorial uh, so we're going to apply this okay so if you're not seeing these two um, columns, upload and download, you can click here. So you can click on, click here, click show columns and select upload and download if you're not seeing them in yours. I don't think they are there by default. And also you can also add other columns which will show you more details about your queue. So we are seeing where traffic is flowing through our queue right now so this queue could be used as is but if you want to get more granular uh, you could actually create some more queues so I'm going to create, create a queue named client client1 and this client would be 192.168.5.254 and for this client I'm going to set a upload an upload speed of 128 kilobits and a download of 2 megabits when I apply that but before I apply it in order for this queue to work alongside the peering queue because the peering queue is already um, queuing the entire network and now we are trying to queue a particular IP address so I'm going to apply it and let you see exactly what's happening so you realize there's no traffic going through on this queue. The reason being is that this queue, queue um, the all bandwidth queue will take priority over this queue because uh, it covers the entire subnet mask. So in order for, for um, in order to get client one working you need to set it as a parent of the all bandwidth queue. So you change that, apply, OK so now we are seeing the traffic going through um, client one. We're going to add another client and call that client 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 two. Um, we're going to give that one nine two one six eight dot dot five dot two five three. So that's another client. We're going to set the bandwidth to same one twenty eight, but I'm going to give this one even even less. We're going to give this one 1 megabit per second and we're going to set the parent to the all bandwidth. We're going to apply that OK. So now you're seeing two queues. So alright I'm going to do a test. So so I'm now, you know, we are seeing where traffic is flowing through 
through all the queues so right now I'm I'm playing a video on on client 2 so right now I'm playing a video on client 2 and you're seeing where the color changed to red what, um, the color really tells you uh, the amount of the threshold or the, the amount of bandwidth that this client is using so this means that this client is actually using almost 100% of its available bandwidth so there are usually three colors green yellow and red so it can give you an idea of the activity that is going on so we're going to do a bandwidth test so you can go on to thinkbroadband.com and we're going to go to tools and we're going to do a download test download and I'm going to download a 512 megabits file megabyte file I'm going to save that so you know you'll get a better understanding of what is happening so if you look at it we can see the queue being in full effect you seen where this Q is currently Q is currently operating. So this is how you would go about configuring queues. You can even get more. Um, there's a lot more configuration where queues is concerned. Uh, also, one last thing is that there's a feature uh, option named Parity, and what that does is that you can actually give a queue. Uh, more priority over an, uh, over another queue. So if you want this queue to the bandwidth for this queue to be more guaranteed, you could actually change the priority to one. So priority to one is really the highest, and eight is the lowest. So if you set the queue for upload and download, for this one to be one. So the traffic that is flowing, this queue would get the priority of getting all that or getting its maximum bandwidth so that is how you go about configuring simple queues uh, in the next tutorial I'll go a bit further in queues and if you like this video um, remember to give me a thumbs up and also to subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more videos like this so thanks for watching